All right, doing a video review of my M92. Start down here with the uh, barrel extension, or also known as a fake can, fake silencer. What this does is once it is permanently attached to your barrel, it is considered a whole barrel, you know, 16, a little over 16, putting you into the carbine rifle category, which then it's legal to put a stock on it. Of course, as you know, if you put a stock on a uh, short-barreled rifle, you know, then it's, you need the tax stamp, paperwork, yada, yada, yada. Well, this is what you do while you're waiting on that. But just doing a video review of these uh, few products. Two of them in particular are from usak47.com. That would be this barrel extension. Uh, one reason I went with it was I like the uh, I just like the machining. It's simple. You got a little bit of gnarling right here for gripping, a couple ribs. And uh, where's my other one that I had on there? You know, versus this is trying to mimic a one of the Russian suppressors. And, you know, I just like this better. And then also one of the, the key feature that uh, just drew me to it was, you know, USAK47.com uh, cones it out like the, uh, the four-piece flash hiders. Now, when I ordered this, I ordered it in a raw aluminum. They offer it in raw aluminum and uh, a black finish. Uh, what I used up here, you know, some of y'all might not like this, but I used a mother's mag and aluminum polish and made me up a little rig on my drill and just went to town on it. It's almost like a mirror. The paint that I used for it. Oh. Is this stuff. You know. Supposed to be able to handle fire pretty much. So figured it'd be good on a barrel that gets hot. Uh, it's got a nice finish. Nice, uh, it's not too glossy. You know, it's more on the flat. But, you know, you spray it on cook it in the oven for a little while you know it helps it cure then it's chemical resistant after that but moving right along uh midwest industries rail uh bcm gunfighter grip canted forward usually advertised for ar-15s canted the other way i guess whatever's comfortable to you but canted forward uh mags are easier to change because as you know you know ak mags rock rock out So, you know, no problem with 30s. Uh, 40s get hung up in this little area just a little bit. You can still mimic them to get them in. Uh, moving right along, uh, primary arms, micro dot with a kill flash. Uh, this product right here, this rail, is made by Rapid Fire Technologies. I'm sorry, Rapid Fire Technology. Uh, and that's uh, rapidfiretech.com, spelled with a K. Uh, it comes with the $70 kit, comes with everything you need. You get your rail, your two screws that mount it, and then you also get the proper size drill bit, your template plate, and your tap. I literally now, I have some machining experience, so I mean, all this is it's very easy to me. I had this, this rail installed in about 10 minutes. Okay, but very good product for the money. Anyways, moving down to my, this is my favorite edition. It's uh, also from usak47.com. It's their M4 uh, stock adapter. Allows you to use a, you know, wide uh, variety of, you know, your AR-15 carbine stocks. Uh, my only addition that I personally added was I took an AR-15 end plate and I used my friend's hydraulic press and I just punched out that centerpiece. So now I've got a, you know, it's a good strong sling loop. So, but that's pretty much it. That's my, my M92. 
you know, I like this piece, but, you know, once I get my paperwork on, uh, paperwork in for my tax stamp, this will be coming back off and I'll have a more of a short based muzzle brake. Now, oh, there it is. You know, your 74 style. You know, it's a pretty big flash. It is, you know, it's a nice little showpiece. This came from CNC Warrior. Uh, actually tried it out on a buddy's M85, and I mean, it looked like there was freaking bird wings of fire coming out the end. It was pretty cool. But anyways, that's my M92. This is how it sits. Uh, Hogue grip. Uh, Magpul MOE stock with quarter inch cheek riser. Uh, I think that's about it. No issues out of the Magpul mag. That's no surprise. Waiting on uh, them to come out with their still reinforced ones. I'm anxious to get a hold of those and test those out. But if you guys got any questions, I'll try to post some links uh, to where you can get some of these products. Any questions, just ask.